Hey, y'all. I want to share with you guys. This truck here got to replace a fuel pressure sensor on this truck. Now, I ordered a part today. I think I'm going to have to do the work myself to it. No big deal about that. Got to pull that intake and stuff up. Anyway, I wonder was the guy that designed this sensor on this thing drunk or high off some? You know what I'm saying? I just wonder was he drunk? Because, man, think about it. Who in the heaven's name? Design a daggone sensor way up under this intake like this. Come on now, stop the kids out, man. This thing is way up under here now. So therefore, you got to pull the intake up, get to a little $20 sensor. All this got to come up right here. Stop the kid naive, man. Stop the kid naive. I'll tell you, boy, they design stuff some retarded ways. I guess they designed it this way so you had to bring it back to the dealer, you know. It ain't nothing but a fuel pressure sensor, which it sits way back up on there with my finger here right now. We almost can get to the thing. Matter of fact, I'm to it. But the problem is, could I get the screws out like these? I don't even know. I don't. I might could squeeze my hand in there. I don't think I can do it big as my hands here. I don't think so. I had to pull that intake up. And uh, you got to buy new gaskets. I recommend just take the whole thing up and buy new gaskets and set it back up there or whatever. But all these have that problem. All these Ford Explorers have that fuel pressure sense of failure. You know, all of them. And uh, everyone I've seen, that fuel pressure sensor <laughs> fail. Now, on the older model ones, the fuel pressure sensor is out where you can get to it. Which I said, that's why the older model way better than this model here, you know. These later model explorers ain't hitting nothing. They ain't hitting on five cents, man. I really had a car here, man. That's what I do. It's like, they just, they ain't good as the old ones. Now, if I understand it, the boat was hard to get to back there in the back. They removed this intake and stuff. On the, they get this fuel pressure sensor out of here. But it's got to come out, though. Let's see here. I shine some kind of light down up in there and see, can I get it? It's a T30 torque screws right here. I ordered a sensor. I don't know exactly when I'm going to do the work. Try to probably do it when the gas prices go down a little bit. It runs good. But every now and then, it will cut the cut off. And the code was reading PO193, fuel pressure sensor. And I know it's getting too much gas or either not enough gas. So... When that sensor feel, sometimes they won't start at all. And luckily, it's still running good, you know. But, yeah, man, I wanted the man that designed this thing with that sensor way up there. Was he drunk? <laughs> he must have been drinking some Richard wine or something when he uh designed this thing. He should have put the sensor at least out here where you he can get to it. Here. You know what I'm saying? Not underneath that intake. Come on now. Stop with the kids out of you, man. And he was really capping. He was really capping when he designed this daggone sensor on this truck. Because, like I said, he could at least put the, bolt the thing down a little further and put the sensor out here where you can get to it. Name of two boats holding it. Just change that and people be on their merry way. But they designed up on this daggone intake, man. It don't make no sense. Everybody got this model with the 4.0 S SOAC engine. They had the same trouble. Fuel pressure sensor. You know, so... It is what it is, though. I tell you, man. The man that designed him up was definitely drunk, I think. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, man. Next time, man, I'm out of here. Peace.